Hey guys, how's it going? Jeepopolis here, back at it again. Here we are in the cockpit. Not gonna be the whole video though, I promise. Today you guys are gonna get a solid laugh because I have to learn how to back up a trailer. I've driven a trailer minus bringing the jet ski back once in my life. And that was on my way back from North Carolina to Massachusetts moving back I rented a U-Haul trailer with my two-door JK I might insert a picture there because it was pretty funny to see because that thing was squatting and it was really slow going because that thing was not good at showing trailers um so this is gonna be a fun day never backed up a trailer before kind of have to learn now so might as well I'm trying to find an open parking lot and we're gonna see how this goes I will catch you there all right guys so I found a decent sized parking lot so I'm setting up my old GoPro to uh, get the outside footage and you can hear me yell and scream and not be happy in here because I'm gonna mess it up so first thing I'm gonna try and tackle is to see if I can even back up in a straight line with one of these things and that is not the easiest thing to do especially with these small trailers from what I've been told so kind of just gonna go for it it's the worst that could happen right only uh only ruin and break the jet ski maybe the Jeep it sounds like a worse idea the more I talk about it all right let's give it a shot I guess so let's give this a shot reverse should probably turn the beeping off somehow it's gonna get really annoying Okay. All right, it's not bad. Wait, do I have to turn to fix this? Let's turn them that way. So I turn this way a little bit. See if that works. Nope, it's going the other way I don't want. Alright, it's not too bad. I didn't necessarily go completely straight, but it wasn't terrible. And I'll see if I can put her in one of these spots. This is gonna be tricky. Guys, I'm getting it a little bit at a time. This is, okay, this is not easy. Not at all. I also picked a very small parking lot to do this in, which wasn't the brightest idea on my behalf. Forward a little bit, straighten her out. Okay, 
well, straighten me out, not the trailer. The trailer's actually doing pretty good. I'm not doing as bad as I thought. Yeah, I know, parking sensors, you're, you're hating me right now. My clutch hates me right now. I've been riding the shit this thing. I mean, I kind of have to because I can't go fast. So I've just been clutching and not clutching and... I feel like I'm doing a lot of oversteer right now. But... I think I did it. I mean, it wasn't fast or pretty by any means necessary, but I think I did it. I'm gonna use the other GoPro to walk around. You're probably not gonna hear me too well. I'm gonna try to fix that audio. If not, I'm gonna do a voiceover of some sort, but I'm gonna show you how that went. And we're gonna try it a couple more times. All right, guys, so I don't think I did too bad. This is the first time I've ever really backed up a trailer, and I got it straight into that first spot, which realistically, it would have been easier if I tried to just go straight back into this one after, but I did it. It wasn't terribly hard since I took my time with it. I'm kind of impressed with myself, so, uh, yeah, let's try and do this a couple more times, get some practice at it. But I might, I might be able to launch this thing fairly easily. So, hey, I'm digging it, guys. This is uh, this is going a lot better than I thought. I'm gonna try and back it up into one of those. I'm gonna have to turn a little bit because these aren't uh, leveled out. So this might be a good display of if I can do it or not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you guys up. All right, let's try this again, guys. I need to find a way to disable those sensors when I'm towing. We're gonna try and go straight back into the next spot. Not too shabby. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can do this. I'm getting confident now. I think I, can, I think I can do this one. More so. Keeps 
just probably gonna go up on this car because I'm really close. That's a curb forward. Fucking Jeep life, bro. are hard on that I can't really go forward I feel like this is bad for my bumper it's hot I'm putting the window down I'm in a better spot. I need you to go the other way. All right, guys. I think I got it down, or at least down enough. Maybe. Well, I honestly thought that was gonna take a lot longer than 15 minutes to do. Um. Maybe it's lunchtime? I don't know, guys. Hey, I hope you got a laugh out of it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> some of you guys that have been towing trailers for a really long time are going to be like, wow, he is horrible at this. But I'm pretty satisfied with my skills today because I have literally never done that before in my life. Well... I tried that U-Haul I was talking about. I tried to back that up, and it went disastrously. Um, yeah. Do not recommend. <laughs> that was hard. Uh, I'm very impressed with myself. Not gonna lie. All right, so channel updates. What do we got here? Guys, uh, I didn't want this to be my next video to come out. Uh, I have parts coming in, and... <laughs> The shipping companies have just been the bane of my existence with getting parts to my house. So I got a package coming in today, a package coming in Friday, and then Ryan has had three or four packages come in for T-Rex. So we have a lot of stuff coming for the channel, 
and then that the stuff that's coming in guys should bring us right up to Jeep Beach and then I want to get a video out a day while I'm in Florida so I'm really excited about that I want to try and meet up some of the other Jeep youtubers that are there hopefully uh, we can collab or meet up meet each other face the names all that other stuff um I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I am putting a tire carrier on the Jeep, but temporarily until I can afford a good tire carrier in the one I want to get, uh, I got a shitty built tire, shitty built, I got a smitty built tire carrier razor so I can put the 37 on for Florida so I can at least have my spare on on the way down in case I get a flat or something, guys. So with all of this being said, like, share, subscribe comment guys uh the engagement it really helps um i've grown a lot i pretty much got half of my channel doubled after i put that wheel and tire install video out so keep on at it guys i really appreciate all the support uh check out my teespring store i made a teespring store i made a shirt inspired for jeep beach well it's more of a tank top it is a tank top so check that out. If you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, well, what else can I do? The link to that is going to be in the description. Um, there's going to be more stuff coming on there as I come to mind with it and think of it. Um, I can be a very creative person, but on the other hand, that it comes in waves, guys. Like one week I'm on point, and the next week it's completely horrible. So bear with me. More stuff's going to come to the channel, and more stuff's going to come to the Teespring store. Uh, follow the Instagram and you will see all of this stuff before it at Project Reaper JL. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And I, I can't thank you enough for following the channel. So thank you, guys, and I will see you next time.